Today we're going to be talking about four major mistakes that you guys can make in Honkai Star Rail. I've reached level 49 and through reaching this I've learned about some things that you definitely shouldn't do in this game because they can literally set your guys' account back weeks if not even months in the future if you guys make some of these mistakes. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing that you shouldn't do is you shouldn't level your 5 star artifacts to level 15. Now the reason for this is that the amount of XP it takes is not worth the investment. Now it takes the same amount of XP to go from level 12 to 15 as it does to go from 1 to 12. Meaning that you are going to reach a point of diminishing returns and leveling up relics very fast. Which is why I would advise that you keep your relics at level 9 or even level 12. Now also I would recommend not farming for 5 star relics in the first place and instead mainly going for 4 stars. You'll always be able to get higher star relics once you guys get to level 50 or even level 60. But as a level 30 or 40, your main goal should be purple artifacts and traces. Getting your traces to the max level and then maybe farming some artifacts towards the end of your level before you guys are about to ascend. Or even pre-farming traces for the next level. The reason this is especially important is especially as a free to play, the resources we have for artifact XP are very limited, and if you want to clear content at level 40 and higher, you're going to need multiple characters geared with at least purple artifacts, meaning that you will not have enough resources if you spend all your artifact XP in match on one character. So make sure to balance out your account and build anywhere from 4 to 8 characters depending on what you need, so that you guys can clear all fours of a simulated universe, allowing you guys to farm for planner ornaments. So we did talk about traces, but there's actually another important thing about traces traces that I want to talk about because this is actually our second mistake. Our next mistake is going to be the fact that you guys shouldn't level your character traces above level 5 or 6 for your supports and probably not above 7 or 8 for your main characters for now. The reason is that the material investment for leveling up traces is so high that it can take even days or maybe even up to a week just to max out your traces for one single character. Now putting this much investment into a character this early in the game is not going to be very good because you guys want to split your resources. This is something that we have been talking about. You want to get your character's traces all to level 5 or 6 for pretty much all your characters. Get your DPS up a bit more because the level 6 and 7 traces and the traces that you guys unlock at equilibrium level 4 are going to cost so much that you guys are going to have to farm for literally days just for one minor increase. At this point in the game, your resources are better off leveling up your characters and your light cones, which will take a large amount of resources to do. So, to basically summarize again, get your traces to level 5 or 6 on your supports, get it to 7 or maybe 8 on your main DPS, and then stop. The reason this is actually going to be very limiting is because you guys are going to start needing weekly boss mats just to level up character traces beyond a certain level. Now this means that you guys are going to be time gated, so you guys are going to want to make sure you spend your resources in the right place and in the characters that you guys want to invest in the most. This is mainly going to be your DPS and your main damage dealers. The third mistake we're going to be talking about is that going for full five star artifact sets especially once you guys reach equilibrium level three it's actually a very bad idea and the reason I wouldn't recommend it is because 4 star artifacts are going to be more than enough to allow you to clear a lot of the late game content at this level. If you also pair this with the fact that you only get 1 5 star artifact every time you do a domain at equilibrium level 3, this is actually just not going to be worth it, but you guys are going to get a lot of 4 star artifacts and maybe some 5 star artifacts, which will basically allow you to have a somewhat 4 star and 5 star artifact split between your characters. Now the good thing about this is that you'll be able to get enough artifacts to build your characters very quickly because the amount of purples that drops is actually pretty high from these places, which means you guys don't actually need to farm artifacts too long. Now the main thing I'm talking about is not going for 5 star sets, going for some 4 star artifacts just so you guys can get set bonuses and get like a couple of artifacts on your characters is actually going to be a very good thing, but you also don't even have to do that because by doing exploration you will get a lot of purple artifacts to the point where you will basically be able to build all of your characters at least decently well. They may not have the best stats and the best sand bonuses, but you guys can get them to work just due to the sheer amount that you guys will be able to get. This will allow you to get at least good main stats for your characters, although the set bonuses may not be the best. And then you guys can always go and fill by doing so domains if you guys would like to get more relics and get more specialized sets, because some of these set bonuses are actually quite good. Like for example, if you're running a character like Zila, then you guys can get the ability to ignore defense, which is going to be very strong in a lot of boss fights. But overall, 4 stars are going to be good enough, and the ones you guys will get from exploration are quite good. But if you guys want to farm some purple artifacts and get some sense, then do that as well. 
just don't be very strict in going for full five star relic sets at the moment because it's better to wait and at this point you would just be wasting a bunch of stamina when you can instead level up things like traces for multiple characters. The last mistake is actually something you guys unlock at level 40, and it's the artifact box. Now the reason I'm saying not to use this is that it's not going to be good yet, especially the stat picker. We are going to want to save that from when we have more artifacts farmed, and if you guys use it early on, you guys are going to regret it. You want to wait until we farmed up some artifacts and then use that thing to try and get the pieces that we may be missing. If you guys use it right away, you guys will not have that safety net once we finally get there in the future. So make sure you hold on to your relic remains and your self-modeling resin so you guys can use it in the future and get more value out of it, because right now it is not the best time to use it. Now here is a little bonus tip for you, those were all the tips that I wanted to give you, but the last tip and biggest mistake out of all of these is not subscribing to the channel because we upload Honkai Star Rail Guides every couple of days, and you guys will be able to get a lot of good information out of it. You're going to be uploading a Natasha guide within the next couple of days. This guide will not only make your Natasha a strong healer, but also turn her into a tank and even a buffer. So if you guys are interested in that video, I'll be dropping it in a couple of days, I'll leave it in the pinned comment once it's uploaded. So anyways, those were our four tips that we went over just to summarize real quick the things that you shouldn't do you should not level up your artifacts level 15 keep them at level 12 only get four star artifacts don't go for full five star artifact sets but if you guys get them feel free to use your five star artifacts just do not grind for them next is that you should only level character traces to level five or six for your supports and higher for your main dps mainly focus on them next is that you, once you guys reach 40 level 40 do not use the artifact box because it is not very good for you guys okay that's all we have for today Thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Thank you guys.